it is such a fabulous moment tr trying to explain to Simon Cowell <laughs> what a bag for life is. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not the normal reaction when I do that. You know, usually people laugh when you do a joke, but yeah. there were just loads of confused people talking. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really come across that well, but... Oh, it did. It came across very well. It was brilliant. Um, you've been performing for a long time, because originally the music was the thing, wasn't it? Yeah, I was a musician mm. for a few years. I was terrible. I wouldn't have, well, oh, no one have told terrible. me. Yeah, but I gave it up. It just faded eventually, and I, uh, I got a real job uh, and trained as a teacher yeah. um, when I was about 29. Um, and then I missed the stage, so I thought I'd, I'd give comedy a go. Mm. And do you wish you'd done the comedy from the, from the beginning? Because I it should, Yeah, I was basically you. just doing comedy on the music circuit for years. Yeah. I, I, I wish I'd done it a bit earlier, but... So what did you do? Did you start with local gigs then? Well, yeah. Smaller ones. And yeah, that's, big big. I went straight into the stadiums, mate. Yeah, as well. <laughs> yeah, I'd straight in and then worked my way down. And so if you are, if you're just doing the sort of local stuff uh, and then, as you know, he said, you know, these things are quite organic, how do you end up on Britain's Got Talent? Um, Cos well, you, you, you turned it down, hadn't you? You didn't want to do it. They asked me five times to do it. Um, and I, I thought, do you know what, I want to do it this year. I did my Edinburgh show uh, in uh, 17. 2017, and it was hard work getting folk in because mm. you're flying and and uh, every day and it's and you're trying to get people in. Sometimes you're playing to 12 people, yeah. And they've been working for six hours uh, trying to get them in. Yeah. And I did. Uh, I was with with Johnny Awesome. Uh, he got to semi-finals last year of Britain's Got Talent, mm. and Johnny sold his entire run out, no flying. So I thought, if they ask me this year, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. What have I got to lose? Just so that it makes life easier to sell yeah. out the other gigs. <laughs> oh, totally. Well, See, that must mean then you must have so because normally people say, "What are you going to do now for the semi-finals? What are you going to do if you get onto the?" You must have so much sort of a back catalogue of stuff. Yeah, I have got a back catalogue of stuff, but it's it's what's right for the show as well. You know, what's going to appeal to most people and, and yeah. what some things you just can't do. Well, and possibly yeah. the royal family eventually, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. So it's it's about picking the right material. But I think I've 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 gone down a quite a a, a PC route mm. over the last three or four years as I've got into comedy. Anyway, my agents like you need to be nice and broad if you want to get booked at the comedy. I wonder if the Queen knows what a bag for life is. Good oh, question. Oh, I reckon they do. Yeah, quite I reckon environmental. They do. Mm. Prince Charles definitely will. Prince Charles would know. Yeah. I'm not, not entirely sure about the Queen. He might have um, told but, his mum. Uh, yeah, he could be. <laughs> But, oh, that the blow that bloke is on there about the bag. But let me tell you what a bag for life is. <laughs> and so, uh, and so for, for for you, four yeses was great because you hate rejection. Well, yeah, of course I hate rejection. But I, I had nothing to lose going on there because I, I just enjoyed it because it, it was like you played to two and a half thousand people, which was really exciting for me because mm. I don't you know, I played to twelve people, you know, <laughs> at, at Edinburgh. So I just thought enjoy it. I've got nothing to lose, and if I get rejected, you know, at least I've had the chance to. To do it. To do that gig, so yeah. So did you expect those four yeses, or was that...? Oh, massively. Did yeah. you? <laughs> yeah, of course I did, yeah. Yeah, I did. I, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't have gone on if I didn't think I was going to get through. <laughs> what do your yeah. students say? Uh, well, they've, they've been, they're really excited. Uh, I haven't seen them. I, I'm supposed to be teaching today, because uh, I'm contract... I, I've worked three days a week. I'm contracted Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh. So it, it was... I, I work in Year 6. We've had our SATs exams last yeah. week. So it's been okay. a really stressful week for the kids. And you were like, yeah, whatever. Well, on, on Friday, <laughs> well, well, we took him to the park on, on Saturday, uh, on Friday, sorry. And I've, I've literally sat there, I stood there with like a, a basketball and ice cream in my hand and the kids are having a really good time. And I got a phone call and I thought, I wouldn't normally answer the phone at work, but, you know, I thought, the kids are, it's fine. I'm surrounded by really responsible adults as well. So I, I just felt, right, I'll, I'll take this call, drop my ice cream, picked up the phone. It was unknown number and I thought, right. You wouldn't normally answer an unknown. I, don't, no, I, mean, I think the boss is watching as well. So I don't normally answer my phone at work, I have to say that. But it was, I know that Britain's Got Talent is an unknown number. Ah, uh, so you thought it might Yeah, because they, they do not... They, well, they don't reveal the number, so I thought, right, I'll answer this. And they went, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's Susan from the press office. I was like, right, do you want to go on this morning? On, uh, on Monday? And I went, oh, I can't. I'm contracted to work on Mondays. <laughs> so they're just like, oh, never mind. See ya, and then I put the phone down. Then I just thought, you know, that moment when you go, What am I doing? <laughs> so I, 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 I stopped to my boss. I went, Do you think I could have Monday off? And she went, Why? I went, 
Well, um, I've just been asked to go on this morning with, with, uh, with Phil and Holly. She went, oh, my God, and I went, oh, my God! <laughs> and I, I got back on the phone, but I, I couldn't call back because it's an unknown number. So I was just like, I, I was just running around a park in Leeds, basically <laughs> screaming. So, but oh, it, oh, it worked out in the end. Oh, well, we're very pleased you, you did. Oh, thank me you. too, and yeah. And thank your class for giving you the day off as well. Yeah, I, I must say, uh, hi, hi to all the kids. I think they, they actually might be watching. Uh, yeah. Hi when, to all wondering the kids. where you are. Hello. Uh, hi, Hills. <laughs> uh, and hi to my daughter, Isabel. Like, she, she's three, she watches that and she'll laugh at that with a look at that. <laughs> Thank she you. She don't get dialogue. Thank you very much. <laughs>